In this video, I will guide you how you can create your Mega Menu using Voxor Mega Menu Pro plugin. Voxor Mega Menu is simply designed to help you build advanced navigation menu with the interface. You can create multi-column drop-down, add custom content, and style your menu without any coding knowledge. So once you are inside a Voxor Mega Menu dashboard, you can see here there's a button create your first mega menu and there's a list which show all your mega menus which you have created so we are going to click on create our first mega menu once you click on first mega menu button you will see a visual builder interface here you can design your mega menu it's a very easy to use interface you see we have two or three options add a menu item this is a simple menu item for example, I'm going to call it a home. And I'm going to add an SVG icon. Here you can give a link to your menu. And also, you can also target the link if you want this link to open in the same window or new window. After that, we are going to add a drop down. A drop down menu can be used to showcase your services. For example, hosting. And inside the drop down, I can add multiple sub items. Let's say I want to add one drop down inside the hosting menu. Let's call it a WordPress. And I want to add one more sub item. Let's call a VPS. Same, I can add SVG icon. I can also add SVG icon here. You can now the same. You, you can give your link URL to each of your sub items. Now let's move to the add me me mega menu items. Once you click on mega menu, you have had option. How many columns do you want inside of mega menu? We are just going to select the two. As you can see in a mega menu, you have two columns. And also, if you want to add a row inside of a column, you can add multiple row. For example, I want to I have a one row and a one menu items. I want to add one more row. You can just click on add row. You will you can add another row. Let's call it a two. So same like a row, I can add an item inside a column. For example, in this column, I want two menu items i just click on add items you see in this row i have two items i can add a row i can add a second row in this second row i can add multiple columns next we have a menu styling option a menu styling option is very simple we have a live preview here you can see live preview while styling your menu for example we are going to change a background color of this into black and let's change the default color white and once you have done with your menu styling you need to click on apply styling button now our style has been applied so now you need now the last option is to give the name of your mega menu we are going to call it a box for mega menu test and i'm going to save it so I will navigate to all mega menu and here you can see our menu is safe. You can see that each menu has their own specific shortcodes. You can copy, you can edit them and you can delete them. For example, let me delete this mega menu. You can just click on delete option, confirm this and this mega menu will be deleted. Now let's talk about display options. There is three way you can display your mega menu into your website. First one is a straightforward shortcode. Just copy the shortcode of your mega menu and paste it in your header or in your footer. Uh, your mega menu will be shown there. And the second option is PHP function. If you're creating a custom theme, you can use our uh, PHP functions uh, to showcase your mega menu into your website. And the third option, if you are using a page builder like Elementor, you can just search for box for mega menu widget in elementor drag and drop and you can 
there you can select your mega menu and publish your header i am in a elementor header template let's search voxel widget drag and drop select your menu you can see voxel mega menu test this is the menu we have created and you can see our menu is appearing you can just simply go and test your styling whatever you like let's go to default here and a white background color apply setting save menu and we are going to check now if our fonts are looking fine or not let's put our box for widget once again drag and drop select your menu box for mega menu test and you can see our menu is appearing fine so this is our widget if you don't want to use widget you can just simply put a short code search for a short code widget drag and drop so i will navigate back to all menu and here you can see each menu has their own short code i will just copy this short code and paste it here that's it i'm going to publish it and now i'm going to check in the front of our website our mega menu is appearing fine let's test the mobile responsiveness i will go here refresh as you can see our mobile toggle menu is already be styled if i open this our menu is working fine that's it you have now learned how to install configure and use ports for mega menu plugin to create a stunning navigation menu for your wordpress website if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe for more tutorials thank you for watching